and this really is a more targeted treatment. It really helps to give my skin a little bit of extra hydration, especially during the winter months. And I would say this product is viral for a reason. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Joyce Park. I'm a board certified dermatologist and today we're going to do a deep dive into a very trendy and buzzy ingredient that has been all over the skincare market and that is niacinamide. A lot of you may be using niacinamide already in your skincare routine and you may not know exactly why you're using it or why it is such a powerful ingredient with a whole host of benefits. So today we're going to jump right in and talk about what it is, what the benefits are, and some of my favorite niacinamide containing products. So first of all, what is niacinamide? Niacinamide is a derivative of vitamin B3, and it actually plays a really important role in the body and specifically in the skin. So in the skin, studies have shown that niacinamide increases levels of ceramides as well as free fatty acids. We think of ceramides as kind of like the mortar, the glue that holds the bricks, which are your skin cells, together. So when your skin is low on ceramides, you can think of that as having an impaired skin barrier where you have cracks and holes in the wall that is your skin, which is your first and foremost defense against the outside world and external aggressors. Niacinamide is really important in helping you keep that skin barrier nice and intact. Niacinamide also has some antioxidant properties, and we know that's very important because antioxidants help to decrease oxidative damage from the sun. So UV rays cause reactive oxidative species to be produced, which can cause DNA damage, and we use antioxidants like niacinamide, like vitamin C, etc., to help reduce that damage. Niacinamide also has anti-inflammatory benefits, which make it really helpful for treating conditions that have inflammation, such as acne, or rosacea. Last but not least, niacinamide helps with hyperpigmentation or dark spots. It does so by preventing melanosome transfer from melanocytes, which are your pigment producing cells, to your keratinocytes, which are your skin cells. And so by preventing that pigment transfer process, it can really help with treating and preventing hyperpigmentation. So are there any downsides to using niacinamide? Honestly, not really. Some people with very sensitive skin may experience some sensitivity to niacinamide. These are individuals who have really sensitive skin to begin with, who sometimes break out, get redness, burning and stinging when they use new products. Niacinamide can sometimes slightly increase sun sensitivity, but in my experience, I haven't found that to truly stop anyone from having to use niacinamide. So it's a very, very small increase that may not be clinically significant. Okay, so let's talk about a couple products that I really like containing niacinamide. First up is the Topicals Faded Serum. So this is marketed as a serum that can be helpful for dark spots, whether it's post acne marks or dark spots from the sun, post inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or even something to use in your underarms. This contains a whole host of anti-dark mark ingredients that are really great. It obviously contains niacinamide. It also contains tranexamic acid. Now I've talked about this before. Tranexamic acid is an ingredient that I like to use for melasma, which is a different type of inflammatory hyperpigmentary condition. It is often used orally in the ob world for bleeding, and we even use it orally to treat really recalcitrant stubborn cases of melasma. But topical tranexamic acid can also work in conjunction with other brighteners to help lighten up dark spots. This product also contains azelaic acid, which is another multitasking favorite of mine. Azelaic acid is a great option for treating redness and inflammation, so we often use it to treat rosacea, and it actually is a really great ingredient for treating acne in pregnant women because oftentimes a lot of different ingredients are contraindicated in pregnancy, but azelaic acid is one of those that are safe to use. In addition to treating redness and inflammation, azelaic acid can also help with hyperpigmentation, which is why it is in this formulation. There's a couple other brighteners in this formulation as well in this product, including alpha arbutin and kojic acid. 
So really, this is a serum that includes a lot of different ingredients to tackle hyperpigmentation in all different forms. Okay, the next product I'm gonna talk about is the Paula's Choice 20% Niacinamide Treatment. Now, 20% is pretty potent. It's one of the highest that I found on the market. And this really is a more targeted treatment for dark spots. So the niacinamide in this one helps with the appearance of enlarged pores. It can also help a little bit with dialing back oil production. The other ingredients in this product are also superstars. So there's licorice, which actually is a really popular ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine. And it's derived from a plant root and it has actually antioxidant properties. So it can help with reducing free radical damage like from UV exposure. It also helps with hyperpigmentation it actually disperses the melanin and decreases organic formulation of melanin in the skin cells. So another ingredient that helps with hyperpigmentation. This product also contains vitamin C in the form of ascorbyl glucoside, which is a water-soluble, stable form of vitamin C. And we know a lot about vitamin C. We know it's a great antioxidant. And we also know that it's a very potent treatment for dark spots. So all around, this product would be great for people who are suffering from hyperpigmentation or enlarged pores or acne marks. Last but not least is the super super viral product from Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dewdrops Serum. Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dewdrop Serum. This is a really lightweight hydrating serum that contains niacinamide for all of the benefits we talked about before, but it also has hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant that helps your skin hold onto and retain moisture. This product really acts like a primer in my mind. It's great for your morning routine, after you wash your face, after you put on your treatment, use this kind of like a serum or a primer before you put on your sunscreen and your makeup. It really helps to give my skin a little bit of extra hydration, especially during the winter months. It is also very lightweight, so you can continue to use it as your primary moisturizer during summertime. And it gives my skin a nice glow, which I really like. Really versatile, layers well under sunscreen and makeup, plays well with other ingredients. And I would say this product is viral for a reason. So for all the reasons that I listed in this video, niacinamide is truly an amazing skincare ingredient and it deserves all the buzz. It's in so many products starting from last year, I think, and continuing this year. And I think it's for good reason. So I may continue to do more of these ingredient deep dives. If you guys find this interesting, please drop a comment below and let me know what kinds of ingredients do you want me to cover. As usual, I'm looking for topic ideas. So if there's anything on your mind, any burning skin or dermatology related questions, please drop those below as well. Thanks for watching and until next time.